So let's take a smell. You get this woody herbal quality coming off of it. It's not like citrus, it's not any of that stuff. You saw the the little chart thing that tells you what it is. This is supposed to be like a like a coconut. I don't get any coconut whatsoever. They did say like cream caramel. Don't get that either. I guess that's like vanilla oakiness. I get this brightness, like a bright, like herbal note. Um, kind of like. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But, wow, from one hot pellet, this is actually pretty good. This actually is very surprising to me. I would have this on tap. It's it's quite refreshing. It's different. It's something that, if you didn't know what this was, you'd be like, something's wrong with this water. But um, I could see having a higher mineral content would probably help out a little bit with this. This is just straight up uh, filter tap water from my fridge. Um, took about an hour to make this. One quart, about a liter. And um, for one hot pellet, I'm very surprised at how much aroma, at how much uh, flavor it gives out. Um, that lemon juice from the bottle, I think that if you use pure lemon juice from the lemon would probably help out a lot. I really wouldn't use lactic acid um, because then you, this lemon juice kind of adds a little bit to it. You know what it reminds me of? Hold on. This is this herbal citrus character to it. It reminds me of when I was a little kid, I would, I learned how that if you, there's a tree over in my area that grows and it has like three different types of leaves. Um, that's how you identify it. One looks like a mitten, like this. One looks like a straight up leaf. That's just one big, you know, leaf. And then there's another one that's like three prongs that come out of it. So it's like a big finger and like two little ones that stick out the sides. And I don't remember exactly what the tree is called or bush or whatever it is. But if you take a little piece of a twig that comes off of it and you like put in your mouth and you chew on it, and it'll taste kind of like birch beer type of root beer-esque, but more woody, of course, because you're chewing on wood. But that's what I get from this. But this has more of a citrus, lemony taste to it. Really, really good. It's different. I would definitely like to try this with different types of hops. You do get a very slight bitter taste in the back of your throat after I drank pretty much half this glass already. Kind of sits there in the back. I have made the worst decision of my life to basically take a hop pellet and eat it and try it because I didn't know that hops were really that bitter. I'm like, how bitter could it be? Put one in my mouth. It was the worst thing I've ever did in my whole life. That is nothing, like this is nothing compared to that or overly dry hopping something i'm sure you definitely could overly hop this but one pellet or this for a liter and about three liters a little bit more than three liters is is a gallon or um like four quarts is a gallon um with one hot pellet, I'm sure I could probably went up. If I weighed that out, it could be about two grams per gallon. Um, everyone recommends around three. So I could see that. I could see that, with, especially with this was only 8%, 7.5% alpha acid. Just imagine one of those ones that, you know, like Galaxy or, you know, a really good Citra or Mosaic or something. Equinot, something coming out with a higher alpha acid. really kind of happy with this i might boost the minerality up a little bit add a little calcium chloride a little gypsum just to you know give a little bit more to it maybe even add a, a touch of like table salt just to kind of give that mouth feel a little bit more just spread out on your on your mouth just so it can, can kind of linger a little bit more but 
they have a softness really good really good i would try this again definitely recommend two thumbs up especially if it was cold be even better more more uh the colder the liquid the more co2 it takes soda stream worked amazing with this i have put soda stream they say only use water by itself because if you put any of like those little additives in there and you put it on and you try to use it it'll just shoot out the top of it because of all the nucleation points from like that syrup stuff and um as long as you have all the hop debris out of this, I didn't have any problem. I had to run this through a couple of um, mesh filters and I still had hop particles. So then I went through some cheesecloth and it perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And uh, hope you guys like this, try it out. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, I'm trying to stay on a little bit more of like a lower alcohol beer kick right now. Have a Mexican lager going um, sub 5% because it's hot here now and don't want to be sitting outside by the poolside having 10 beers over the course of a day and be kind of uh, bloated and just feel sluggish and not want to play with my kids. This is refreshing and really good, really good. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and try it. It only takes about an hour. All right, have a good one.